Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to the second candle review of the day. I hope you are having a fantastic afternoon. In this video, we are going to be discussing a new fall 2024 fragrance from Kringle Country Candle. Um, this is Pine Cones and Pomander. I did review the new um, fall 2024 fragrance from the Country Candle line called Almond Butter Cookie this morning. If you are interested in that particular fragrance, I would definitely encourage you to watch that review first. Um, that is a fragrance where it is presenting a little bit different uh, from the, I think, intended fragrance, <laughs> at least to my nose personally. Um, so with that particular one, um, it's it's one of those scents where I think it might be worth maybe trying a smaller format first, just to make sure you like it. But definitely go check that review out. I will link it in the description box down below. And if you are newer to my channel and um, you're not already subscribed, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you are interested in more of my home fragrance content. So anyway, um, let's take a little dive here into Country Candle, Pine Cones, and Pomander. And I know one of the first questions that I'm going to get regarding this candle is how does it compare to my collab candle? Um, which is the uh, Kringle Reserve Vintage Pomander. Um, and I will tell you right now that I don't consider this pine cones and pomander candle here from Country to be an actual pomander fragrance at all. In my world, in order for something to be considered a pomander fragrance, it has to have that citrus, like specifically orange and clove. Uh, note and this fragrance here does not have that so um, I don't think this is pomander at all it definitely has a lovely orange citrus note I will give it that but there is no clove so I don't want anyone purchasing this one on my recommendation because I love it thinking that they're getting a pomander fragrance um, my my collab candle is supposed to be coming back this holiday season. Just a quick heads up here. I have been in touch with Kringle and um, you know made sure that they were still thinking about bringing it back, and they are they are currently in the process of procuring all of the raw ingredients for that fragrance again. So fingers crossed, those of you that were not able to get the uh, Vintage Pomander the last go around, that you can get it this uh, this next release for the restock. I did ask Kringle to give me the heads up first so that I could share with my subscribers. I know many of you guys were really disappointed that you weren't able to get your hands on it last year. It honestly sold out far quicker than I ever expected it to, that I'm sure Kringle ever expected it to. So um, yeah, but I know a lot of you guys uh, are really wanting it to come back. I want it to come back personally because quite frankly, I did not get to purchase enough myself to even gift out to family and friends because it was gone so fast. So. Um, yeah, I I need some more vintage pomander in my life just as much as you guys do So um, hopefully it'll be it'll be back for this holiday season Like I said, I will give you the heads up here on my channel as soon as I hear anything from Kringle hopefully so all right, anyway, let's go ahead and dive into pine cones and pomander here. Per usual, I'm going to read through the fragrance notes. Um, we'll talk about their little fragrance story. I'll tell you what my nose detects. We'll talk strength and throw. Um, and then overall burn quality. I know that that's one of the biggest questions when it comes to uh, the country candle line right now because um, the wicks, uh, they, they, were, they were causing some issues on some previous uh, seasons releases and this is something that I think Kringle has been trying to tackle and uh, fix and I think I think they might have I think they might have figured it out so I'm certainly hopeful at least based on the performance that I've been seeing so far 
Um, but let's go ahead and get into uh, this review here. Okay, so the description reads, pine cones and pomander. Radiant gleaming citron and sparkling tangerine zest combined with crisp tones of freshly cut juniper and simmering white currant. Okay, the top notes are juniper and citrus. The mid notes are fir needles and citron zest. The base is currant and musk. All right, so um, based on that, <laughs> what do I actually smell here? First of all, I would just like to reiterate, there is no clove making this a just maybe pine cones and oranges fragrance. Um, I think that that might be a slightly more accurate name here. Um, juniper. This is a very distinct smelling type of wood. Um, if you've never had the chance to smell freshly cut juniper, um, we have a fair amount of it in Oregon where I live here, and it happens to actually be one of my husband's favorite types of wood to burn in our outdoor fireplace because it is so insanely fragrant and like beautiful smelling when it's burning, if that can be a thing. Um, but yeah, he just loves the smell of it. Um, it is slightly, I would say, um, sappy smelling, um, a little sweet, but also slightly bitter. Um, it kind of, to my nose, smells also a little bit like a mix between like a pine and a fir tree. Um, it's a really interesting wood and I think it smells beautiful. I very distinctly smell juniper in here. You've got that like that sweetness from the juniper wood itself. And it plays really nicely with the sweetness from the orange that's in here. Um, so the quote unquote citrus to my nose is coming across as a very fresh, juicy orange. Again, there is no spice here in the way of clove. So just X that out of your mind. Think more just straightforward, juicy, maybe like navel orange, I guess. Um, fur needles, do I smell fur in here? No, I think honestly, it, it really does smell more like juniper than anything else. Um, citron zest, no, I, I don't really smell a zest in here at all. Um, do I smell white currant? I don't know, I, I keep like sticking my nose over this candle to see if maybe somewhere in here there is some type of current, whether white, black, or you know, like the more traditional like red current. I just don't pick up any current at all in this. And in terms of the musk, I do think that it does smell just a, a teensy tiny bit musky, but just in a way that it like supports the other fragrance notes, not so much that it's coming across as like a musky orange woody scent, if that makes sense. Um, to my nose, this is pretty straightforward. I don't think this is terribly complex, but is it well done for the type of scent that it is? Yeah, absolutely. You guys, I love this one. And I was really bummed to see that upon first sniff, a lot of other people who uh, who got this one were not super impressed by it. Like, it, <laughs> I mean, I guess more for me, but um, I was really kind of sad to see that like nobody else liked this one as much as I personally do. But everybody's fragrance tastes are totally different. Um, sorry, Elf just walked by the camera there. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this one. Um, this, I think, would make a wonderful transitional scent um, because it does combine that woody juniper note with that fresh, juicy orange. It's almost like you're taking a little bit of the summer into the fall when you start lighting fires to, you know, warm your home or like bonfires outside. Um, I think this is a great transitional scent. This is one where, even though this one was sent to me in PR, I will absolutely be repurchasing more of this because as you can see, I'm already halfway through this one and this is not enough. This is not enough to get me through the fall season. Um, I'm gonna want more of this. Um, strength and throw, let's get into that. Um, 
you guys it is it's been a solid performer from day one in terms of uh it being about a seven in terms of strength and just about a seven in terms of throw as well i do think this one is amped up just a little bit if you put it in either a candle sleeve like this or if you pop it into one of your hurricanes i do think you can amp this one up just a touch but I don't feel like it needs to be in either of those two candle accessories. This is performing fine just sitting out in a room all on its own. Um, it's very enjoyable, very noticeable, not smack you in the face, but just a pleasant, I don't even want to say background fragrance because that implies that it like maybe kind of disappears into the background. It doesn't. Like it's a very noticeable beautiful interesting scent that as soon as you walk into a room you're like what is that that smells good at least that's my reaction I mean hopefully you don't walk into the room and think oh what on earth <laughs> but um yeah you guys solid performance in terms of strength and throw really that kind of solid medium performance is what I have come to expect from country candle and this is giving me that um, if you want your home to, uh, you know, be more fragranced, I would say maybe think about grabbing some wax melts to pair alongside, but I don't know. I just, I think this one is so well done and I always usually have two candles going at a time anyway. So what I get from this is like the perfect amount of strength and throw when I'm pairing it with another fragrance. So Good performance for me personally and in terms of overall burn quality this is the one thing that i really want to kind of stress in this video is i've had a really good experience with this wick changeover you guys first of all i did purchase three of the candles from the country candle limited edition summer collection all three of those have been performing very well i am now within the last burn or two of my juicy peach and my blueberry milkshake and the wicks fabulous the whole way down i have not had any issues at all it's the same with the fall candles all six of them that i've been testing there have been no issues with the wicks they are not getting puny wicks they do form some mushroom tops that's for sure um but i find that as i get further down those mushroom tops get a little bit smaller i do trim these wicks but just the very top I don't cut them too short. I trim between each burn. Um, I get a solid, uh, I would say, inch wax pool. Just for reference, I lit this candle about 45 minutes ago. And this is the wax pool that I have so far. So it hasn't even fully given me like that inch wax pool yet, but it will, it will get there. Um, I just, I have had no complaints. Like whatever wicks they chose to incorporate with the Country Candle line at this point, I think are working. They are working quite well for me. Um, like I said, no puny wicks, no massive major mushroom tops. Everything still seems to have a pretty decent clean burn to it. Um, I am gonna try to do a little just wipe across the top here to show you uh, if there's any discoloration that has collected on the jar here. So it's gonna be a little hard because this does burn quite warm, but I'm gonna go ahead and just give a quick couple swipes here. So you can see that there is definitely a little bit of discoloration there on my finger, but that's not bad at all. That is still an acceptable level to me. Now, if this was like completely black, um, that is the point at which I would automatically put this into a candle crock. But as long as I am burning this for between three and like four and a half, five hours, um, it seems to be doing just fine. I did have it lit one day for about eight hours. That might be where, you know, this here came into play. But for the most part, with the other candles that I have from the collection, I've been limiting the burn a little bit more. And I have not had, um, like, that amount of discoloration. So, um, anyway, um, it's, like I said, it's still acceptable for me. I'm very picky about soot especially. Um, just because I don't want to pay to have my house repainted anytime soon. Um, 
So yeah, for me, this is performing really, really well. I want more. And I really hope that other people enjoy this one as well. It's one of those scents that I would personally love to see stick around. Um, but I know, you know, obviously everybody has their own scent preferences. And um, the thing that I think most people would probably be disappointed about here is that they are not getting an actual pomade or fragrance. So if that is what you're looking for, that is not what this is. However, I think it's a lovely scent in its own right. It's just kind of misnamed. Anyway, if you happen to have picked up the Country Candle Pine Cones and Pomander already yourself and you have been uh, burning it, let us know what your experience is in the comments down below. Be sure to check out the description box. Um, I will have a link to where you can find Kringle and Country Candles as well as a discount code um, that'll save you 15%. So. Um, thanks a lot for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. There are more candle reviews to come, so make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.